Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Unpacking, where we have come upon the realities of decorating an entire house. The year is 2018, I think. Um, and we've got our whole house to move into, which is taking a little while. Not to mention, there's still probably going to be the time spent uh, reorganizing everything so that everything is in the correct location. As that is a issue it with itself. This is an interesting uh, bathroom vanity in that, like, it has all this kind of open space. Uh, let's put everybody's toothbrushes and toothpaste next to each other. Why is this mug over here? That goes in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, and we have a laundry room. That is a very well-concealed laundry room. And we've got some cosmetics. We'll put them by the other cosmetic pro products, whatever that is, whatever this is. That, I mean, that's the thing with, like, um... Actually, never mind. I take it back almost immediately. I would almost criticize it for just, uh, for having, like, you can only have so much clarity in regards to, uh, sprite, uh, in regards to sprites, but, depending on how pixelated it is, even if it was in HD, would that necessarily mean that I would be like, oh yeah, that's, uh, something something. Um, let's see. That can go in the shower on one of the shelves. That can go on the upper shelf. I'm assuming everybody buys color-coded... Actually, if you buy your shampoo and your conditioner from the same brand, then it's going to look very color-coded because the brands tend to have tend to use that as a specific image. Um, let's put that here because that looks like laundry stuff. Um, and I believe this is your character's cosmetic bag they've had their entire life. Nope, nope. There we go. Their vitamin D. Um, let's toss that in here. I suppose, like, that's the other, like, if I'm not necessarily sure about what something is. Actually, those are band-aids then it makes it a little bit trickier to be like, well, to be that committal, uh, committed towards uh, one or the other. But, like, something like this, that's clear enough. That kind of looks like vitamins or painkillers or something like that. It doesn't necessarily need to be those specific ones. And toilet paper. Well, I've got a toilet paper holder like this one myself. Um, let's put this... That looks like a... non-slip mat for inside the bath. Um, yeah, we can keep the fertilizer for the plants in the laundry room. And there's probably going to be one more loofah. Mm. Ah. Is this the laundry? Well, let's put that there for now. 
It doesn't need to stay there forever, but at the very least it has a location at the moment. Ah, it's a different brand. Um, let's put that razor in there. And our collection of tampons and pads. What is... That can go down here. Um, laundry detergent. Probably not a good idea to put laundry detergent way up at the top, but hey. We're, we're just throwing things around just for the sake of space. I'm sure they'll figure out a better place to put it as, as they're living in this environment. Um, hmm. Yeah. That's gonna have to do. Hopefully I don't have to find too many other things that go in this room. Ah, laundry basket. Yeah, that probably goes there. So let's move that there. So we could hopefully move this bigger towel. Nope, not good enough. There we go. And then we can put these smaller towels onto the bigger towel. And I suppose this is not a bad spot for your laundry because this is where your clothes get it gets changed out anyway. And the laundry machines are right there. Or I buy it for your laundry basket, I mean. All right. As for the bedroom, since the closet is now in its own space, like uh, the walk-in closet is considered its own room, this will, in theory... Why is there a printer in this box? Hmm. Okay, let's put this on the floor, move that... Over there, printer, over there. Yeah, so like this room is probably not going to take that much time comparatively. Like I think the, like I'm going to be spending a much larger chunk of time just worrying about the closet because of all the, in uh, individual small things. Where did I put the, uh... Have I put the chicken anywhere? Okay, so that has to move so that the chicken can be accessed. Ooh, or should I have put it up there? Hmm. Choices. Ah, there's the yoga mat. After all these years. One more yoga mat. Right under the bed where it will never see the light of day. And we will add you over there. Mm, you can go on this side because I believe I'm kind of setting up this side to be your like the character that I followed all this time. And of course, their picture of a majestic horse running alone in a field, mountains in the distance. Yeah, I probably should have uh, put the... Yeah, let, let's... I don't know what what's causing uh, that to happen when I'm trying to switch rooms. Like, am I just not flicking the analog stick enough? Does it require more flick? Maximum flick?
Is this uh is this a shower speaker? Let's pretend it is, see what happens. Um, let's see, somebody's pen. Let's put that there. Nope. Now I can listen in stereo. <sighs> hmm, I don't have room for another lamp. Unless I put the plant somewhere else. Which I could. I could put it here. And now everybody's got a lamp. Although I must say I prefer the rectangular lamp. This just kind of seems like a... Like a less contemporary design. And then that can go... Hmm. Okay, so I can't really put it... Like, underneath the other side of the bed. So that's gonna be the temporary spot unless I know better. And of course, these huge nerds want to use their walkie-talkies to communicate with each other's from the other sides of the bed. But like I said, who am I to judge? I'm not sure what that one is. And I guess I might have to actually move these chicks unless I find a different spot for that. Like, maybe put one there. Put one there. So there, there's a, like a few in different spots. They've overrun the bedroom. There is no escaping the army of chicks. And then that radio. That is a sweater. That is a cool chick. You know that because they're wearing sunglasses. All right, now this is going to be a little bit tricky because it's going to require a lot of hanger positioning. Let's just start doing it randomly and hope for the best. Like, yeah, once we start getting rid of these these boxes will actually be able to see um, this uh, shelf in the background. Although, now I'm kind of left wondering, like, as I'm moving things in, like, which ones belong to which character? Um... Like, obviously, the, there is a degree to of freedom uh, to this move that is allotted that you normally probably wouldn't have. Like, for a couple, like, they wouldn't be just having one person do all the moving. But essentially, that grants the player a greater degree of um, their own personal freedom. And actually, that is a short... I should probably put the smaller shirts up top, because that's how the dresses would end up fitting at the bottom. Like so. And I definitely need to start finding space for drawer to actually look at drawers. Uh, let's move this up there so we could put that out of the way. Now we can actually kind of sort of look at these drawers down here so we can make room for our drawers in these drawers. I made that joke like two episodes back. It was terrible then.
Ah, that's too long for the that space. This is definitely a crowded closet. Uh, especially considering... Uh, everybody just moved in. Also, I have no idea whose bra is whose. So everybody... You're, you're, so, uh, ladies, you're just going to have to figure it out. Um, let's put that sports bra on the floor for now. And once again, hope for the best. It's a kind of neat backpack. I yeah, I think once I get rid of this box, then I'll be okay. Hmm. Let's throw it on the floor there. And actually, let's put this bag on the floor there as well. So that we actually have space. And actually, let's just start tossing these. Everybody gets shared spaces because I do not know what belongs to whom. Now, that'll be interesting once we reach the point of this level where it's like... Where I have to correct things. Um, like, is the game going to say, hey, you put the wrong things in the wrong cabinets? You've got to fix that. There we go. Now I can see much more clearly. Uh, let's move that there, and let's move this there. Okay. Like, if it reaches the point where it's like, hey, that doesn't go there, because that belongs to this other person, and not to the person you've been following along the entire game, then that creates um, a more specific layer of ownership. Like, this, I believe, belongs to the other character. Because your character has always had lounge pants and a lounge shirt for, uh, when it comes to going to bed. Yeah, the coat. Um, cannot hang off of anything. Let's see. Let's move this out of the way. Can that go farther back, or is this thing with all the pins and the sewing needles blocking that, too? Okay. Do I have room anywhere on this thing? Okay, I think that's the last of the hangar space. And then let's add that to the other collection of presumably pajama pants. And a notebook for some reason. Where are we gonna... Where are we going to put this? All right, one more box left. Definitely have a lot of stuff moving into a, well, yeah, by the this point, like you've just amassed so much stuff. Um, what can go... Nope, that is not that. Let's see, leggings. 
Sure, why not? They can go there. Ooh. Hmm. All right, let's bring this hat down a peg and then put that in the corner. All right, how many how rooms in this house have we gotten wrong? Not too many, not everything. There we go. Hmm. Okay. I just moved it like twice and then it's fine. Why is that a good spot for the for the handbag? Let's put it over here. That is much more believable. What's wrong in the kitchen? Is this actually a poster, secretly? It is not. So this probably goes into a cabinet. That probably goes... to there. Hmm. Can I move the cheese grater anywhere? Nope. All right, that's an acceptable sp spot for that. What's sort of incorrect in here? Okay, so no candles on the table, apparently. I can put that on top of the refrigerator. And I can put that onto a shelf. All right, that's a start. And I can put that on top of uh, the cabinets. The thing is now figuring out what that is. Is that like a... Is that a rug that I can just throw underneath the bed? It is not. Finally, it opened up and it became a poster. It's Antihero, the poster. Now, where can this spice go? Probably right next to the spice rack, with any luck. Fantastic. All right, let us close that and that and move on to the upper floor. If the game would let me. Okay, just throw everything onto onto the uh, the vanity is an acceptable response. I'll take it. 
Hmm. Yeah, these are obviously in the wrong spot. They probably can make their residence somewhere around here. And I've got a lot of cleaning up to do in this general area. Oh, hold on. Let's get rid of this sports bra, put it with the other bras, and now we've got a collection. Can we hang this anywhere? The answer is no. And this. And this coat, I don't think I can hang up anywhere. I don't think any hangers are being unused, except for one. For, uh, shorts. Actually, so let's take this. Put that there. All right. That'll just have to do. Do I have uh, empty? Yeah, I've got empty uh, cabinets still. And then, okay, that cannot go into a cabinet. So let us put this here because that probably can go into a cabinet. Oh wait, is this actually a flask and not a sweater? I think it actually is a flask and not a sweater. It just looks like a sweater. Are you telling me that the crib just can't be completely occupied at all times? Huh. All right, let's move some of these things out of the way. So the blocks can go inside the cabinet. In stacks of two. Can I fit all of these blocks inside this space? I would wager if they expect me to put it in here, then the answer is yes. As for these, can I just put them on a shelf and hope for the best? The answer is no. Yeah, okay. I can put those there.
And then this I can hope for the best. There we go. Oh, that goes in the bathroom. Fantastic. So let's put this in closet right next to the other one. Lower this hat. And... Okay, that's as good of a place as any for your dirty clothes. Right in the corner of the bedroom. What else do we need to move? I think just the speaker system that I assumed went in there, but it does not. It goes in the bedroom. So... What am I missing? Oh, the candle. Where on earth does this candle go? Is it also the bedroom? Okay, it's not a candle, it's honey. It just kind of looks like a candle because of the bright light. To okay. Everything's complete and clearly in the most perfect position it could go. Definitely could not be improved upon at this time. Let's carry on. Finally, a fridge big enough for all our magnets. And that's the game. That's unpacking. Oh, hold on. There's a knock on the door. Now all your stuff is here in boxes on the floor. You open up a box. There is so much to do. I open up my heart. This is now a home for two.
Slowly our things combine Your favorite stuffed toy right next to mine Our prized possessions in a prime location On the bedroom shelf I smile to myself So anyway, I was not expecting there to be a theme song. Um, that was unpacking. That was a really interesting experience and a really interesting way to kind of deliver a narrative. Um, while also uh, having a, a game that's relatively uh, relatively simple to play, relatively uh, carefree. I'm going to get to one issue that I would probably have that you I already brought up. But... I think like the the way that the narrative is structured is very interesting, and you combine that with the theme song, which helps just reinforce the themes of the game. Is you have your stuff. How does the stuff that you have um, present you as an individual? And then as you're moving from childhood to adulthood, moving in with other people, you can't control the other stuff that the other people have. You have no ownership over its placement. You only have ownership over your own stuff, and your own stuff is here, and their stuff is there. Then, at some point, uh, the character you're following gets a boyfriend. You don't have... you're not unpacking his stuff. His stuff is already there. But there's an idea of kind of ownership where you're able to adjust things to fit your stuff. So you could still say there's a clear... Um, delegation as his stuff, your stuff. Then you break up with him, go back to your childhood home, move out to your own place. Your own place only has your stuff. And at that point of the game, you could say that that is a, basically a summation of all of the things that you've acquired up until that point. And then that place is very expansive so that it has space to fit in this girl that you meet and you unpack her stuff. There's still that kind of uh, separation between your stuff and her stuff, because you already know what your stuff is. You've already moved your stuff in. Now everything that's being brought in is her stuff. Then you go into the home, and suddenly your stuff is in the boxes, her stuff is in the boxes, but they're all kind of just mixed together to kind of create this kind of life that's shared. The trickiest part of the game, uh, and the only thing I'd mention, is that sometimes the sprites are a little bit difficult to kind of like look at and say, okay, that is what it is. Um, the, the biggest one and most recent would be like my confusion as to the jar of honey. Like there was a sheen on the surface of the jar that made it look like a candle to me, so I treated it like a candle. And because I thought it was a candle, I never thought of considering it like a jar of honey. Now. Let's say you picked up an item, and there was maybe, like, a uh, flavor text that said what it was. And who knows, maybe even, like, a character's relationship to it. But then you could almost say, at that point, it's uh, going against um, the uh, environmental storytelling that this game is going for. Um, like, if the, if the game told you that this belongs in the kitchen. Like, that would go against the entire idea of you having to figure it out yourself. Um, 
maybe if they made the jar bigger and it had like the image of a bear and the bear was reaching into another jar and pulling out honey. Um, but that's the difficulty of this game as well, is to create all of these household items and still make them instantly recognizable to the player. And overall, it does a very good job. Um, yeah, it was a good time. I would recommend it. In the meantime, though, got any suggestions for something to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.